hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this session we will see what is macro and how can we use macros in blue prism so let's get started as we automate the repetitive task in our rpa board similarly we can automate repetitive task or repetitive task in excel with the help of macro so let's say we have this excel table and we want to process this data and we want to do some formatting also and in future we can have multiple files on which we have to apply same formatting and also the same operations or same processing with we have to do on the on that uh, data like the sum of the marks in english hindi and maths and we have to do bold and change the background color of the heading so we did all the formatting and processing of this data but now we want to do same thing on the another sheet or another workbook so what will we do is we will create a macro for this we have to go to file click on options and here we can see customize ribbon and here you can select main tabs and add this developer tab can I add this tab if this is not available so now click on record macro and give the name of macro and select this workbook now do whatever you want means do the formatting do that processing apply formulas or anything whatever you want to do and after doing all the work you can stop this recording and click on macros you can see this uh, macro macro 2 and we can run this from here and also delete this or edit this now let me undo the changes and now let's run this macro 2 run see as soon as we run this macro all the formatting and processing has done which we recorded in the macro see borders it has counted the total and also heading formatting of header so this is the use of the macro now let's say we have sheet 2 and we added the data here also and run the macro see formatting as the marks which i have taken with the help of a random formula so now let's say if we don't have any data in our sheet then what will happen see if we run the macro in an empathy sheet it will do the formatting it will apply the formula now if we add something here it will update the f formula f column because that contains some formula it is really very quick you can do means you can repeat your steps in just a few seconds no need to do it manually so now in blue prism what we can do is means with the help of excel operations there are a lot of excel formulas lot of features which are not available in blue prism so what we can do is we can use these features or we can do perform calculations or we can apply formulas and use it in our process so just create a macro and run this macro with from the blue prism simple so i have updated this sheet and we will read this marks in the blue prism now save this excel file macro enabled workbook on the desktop and go to blue prism and create a code to read this excel file means create instance then open the workbook get worksheet as collection and close the instance so we are getting this data in the collection now we will use a loop stage and traverse on the data do the calculation means we will calculate the sum of the marks of english hindi and maths
so for this we have to write this code But here we have to write down the logic. Similarly, there can be multiple formulas or multi calculations. So after calculating the sum, we will store the, we will write the data in the Excel sheet. And after that, we will run the macro. So I'm taking two action stage after this. Let's connect all the stages and write the expression here. Now open action one and select the right collection action of the MS Excel VBO. Now open action two and select run macro action of the MS Excel VBO and pass the name of the macro. Run macro and give the handle and the name of the macro. So you can see the name in your excel workbook make sure you enter the correct macro name so in our case it's macro 2 and also in calculation stage use the two number conversion function because these values are in the text format let me give some final touches so here we go and this is our process and first we are creating instance then opening the workbook then getting the worksheet as collection then we are calculating the sum and we are showing the workbook and writing the collection into the workbook and then running the macro and saving the workbook and closing the instance so first it will calculate the sum and then run the macro but our macro is also calculating the sum of those marks so just we will see macro will do the formatting and re recalculate the sum so let me run the process see our workbook is visible because i added this action to show the workbook and it see we can see all the formatting has done uh, let me complete this process so go to desktop and open this workbook so this is how we can run a macro from the blue prism you can do lot of functions or you can apply lot of formulas on the excel data without getting the collection means without reading the data means if there is a very large excel file then you can apply the macro instead of getting the data in blue prism then process the data then rewrite the data in the excel that is a time consuming process so instead of this just create a macro and run the macro from the blue prism it will make your life simpler and also you can see this code of the macro so we will see this in the next video how can we use this code in our blue prism process so we can make this code as dynamic like in this example we are applying the uh, formatting on a particular range but uh, this range can be dynamic means uh, we have to select uh, uh, any dynamic number of rows or columns and apply the formatting or formulas so we can make this code as dynamic with the help of blue prism we will see this in the next video this macro feature is very useful however we can perform all the calculations in through the blue prism itself and also we can apply formatting uh, there are some actions to apply formatting on a particular cell as well but again it's a time consuming process because first we need to read the excel file then we need to write down the excel file or we can like uh, 
automate the Excel as well means we can spy the elements, we can spy the columns, cells. But this macro feature is again a time saving feature and also it is very fast uh, as compared to Blue Prism's processing. So just create a macro and enjoy. Thanks for watching guys. Do comment your doubts and queries. Bye bye.